hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, evening, morning. Pouring here in Devon, absolutely bucketing down. But I hope it's sunny where you are in sunny Florida. I'm just going to move this back a bit. So sorry, you're getting my eye. But I'm just going to, to have a look at this. It's called the Royal Wave. And I'm rather proud of it. In fact, I think it's one of the nicest things I've done. And I'll tell you why, is because it's quite a complicated, it's not complicated to knit, but it's a quite a complicated pattern to work out. And what I did is that I cast on 100 stitches at the top, and you end up with 200 stitches at the bottom. I love things that work so beautifully. The maths all work. Just fine. And making sure, because you're knitting in the round, and the pattern is actually moving like this, it's actually very difficult to make sure that you get the right number of stitches. But I was very, very pleased because, as you can see, there is no seam. And it just goes round and round and round and round and round. So, Royal Wave. This is the Royal Wave. You knit the top bit first. This bit here, you cast on here. And you knit this section from here to here, which is the neck. As you can see, you knit the neck. You can see, you knit the neck bit from here to here. And then what you do is you turn it, let me just show you, I'll bring you closer back to me, now you've had a look at the whole thing, I think it's quite important that you see this, okay, so what you do is you've had the neck bit, and here it is, da 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 da, comme ça, so there's the neck, as you can see, and then what you do is you literally, I think it's funny that word, literally, you really do just pop it inside out, so what you do is you're now working, if you can see, on the back. So this is this is the back of it. Can you see what I mean? That's the collar, the back of the collar, and that's the front. So what you've done is you've knit the neck bit, round and round and round and round and round and round, for how many pattern repeats you do. And when it says on the pattern card, reverse, turn inside out. So what you're doing is then you're starting to knit along as if you were turning it inside out. So there you go, you're now knitting on this bit the right way around, of course. And you are doubling the stitches because you want it to hang rather nicely. So you do the wonderful yarn overs, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. You're doubling the stitches from 100 to 200. And then what you do is, as you can see, you just keep knitting round and round and round and round and round and round and round. Round and 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 round until you get to the border and as you can see here it's just a very very simple very very simple garter stitch there you go and then Bob's your uncle you thread a ribbon through whatever of your choice of colour or quality or design red or blue or silver whatever you like and then you pop it over and it's like a little small shoulder thing and can you see, it's really very pretty, and uh, it's called the Royal Wave. And the reason it's called the Royal Wave, I'll tell you why, is because Ruth and I were um, commissioned by the Campaign for Wool to knit 24 cushions for the Queen's Jubilee, which we did. And we were invited to Blackfriars Bridge, where we had a very nice, jolly day out with all sorts of people from the Wool Board, and met the chairman of the, um, the Campaign for Wool, and extraordinary chap, lovely and hugged a lot of people and talked to lots of people and the most delicious Leslie Pryor who is um, the artisan project manager for the Campaign for Wool um, invited us and we were very honoured to be there and it was great fun and met lots of lovely people who work in the world of yarn and wool and industry and we were standing outside on Blackfriars Bridge it poured with rain, I cannot tell you thunderstorms, torrential everyone was in their barber and their wellies, hunters Alas, I was not. I was in a felted wrap, a black and white, very elegant coat and sandals. Typical. Typical. Hey ho, no matter. Um, it was a lovely day and it was super. And while I, we were travelling on the train back and forth, I was knitting and working out with my pencil and pen and paper. Um, this. And because the Queen was all of 50 yards from us, Rather oh, elegant. I do like the Queen, don't you? Sorry, a bit of a royalist. I shouldn't say sorry. I like the Queen. I think she's jolly splendid. Anyway, that's that. And, um, yeah. So, uh, that's what I did. And, 
That's why it's called the Royal Wave, because it was developed and created on our journey backwards and forward to the wonderful camping fall that set us on this wonderful adventure. So this is this is this is it. And it is rather lovely. And it is it takes two light silky, and um, that's 80% alpaca, 20% silk. Um, have some fun making it. it. It's not that difficult, honestly. And as you see on the pattern card, it has I've got it down to 18 row pattern repeat and it is very good. So on the instruction card you will see it has the tells you what to do and what you do is you keep doing that round and round and round. So it just says, you know, row one, perlate, knit you together, I don't know, knit seven, yo, pull two, whatever it is, and you just keep repeating that until you get back to the marker. Good thing to place a marker. And then you keep going for the row two and row three and row four and five, six, seven, <gasps> eighteen, and then you start all over again. Not too difficult. Have fun knitting that. The Royal Wave. Over and out.